Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Eric William Hauser, aka Walters Waltz, aka Eric Hauser. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review for a Jewel Pod Kit set. This is ES or Lush Ice Compatible Pods, 6% nicotine. This is what the uh, cartridges look like. This is Lush Ice, it's watermelon ice. So, this might be like a watermelon menthol flavored. It's got a pod that looks like this. And I just am going to plug this into my Jewel Pod setup and we'll try it out here. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Oh, that's pretty good. It's like watermelon. A little bit of ice flavored in there. That's not bad. I got this at Sunoco in Clarksville. Signal Bell Road. It's real mellow, real smooth. This is an all-day vape pretty easily, I'd say. I was getting used to the menthol and the mint flavored of Jewel. But uh, those two flavors were getting a little bit old for me, so I wanted something fruity, and luckily enough, uh, I was going to go to the Vape and Cigar, but they were closed on Saturday at this time. So I just went to Snoco and got these uh, ES Lush Ice uh, compatible pods for Jewel sticks. So it's some pretty good shit, and uh, I'll probably buy this product again. It's been a while since I bought them. I think the last time I got them, I got like a uh, cotton candy one or something like that. So this is a good brand. I think it might have been a raspberry. Cotton candy or raspberry, I got like two flavors probably. And uh, both of them were decent. I like the cotton candy better than the raspberry personally, but that's what it was. This one's really good. Let's give it a couple another hits. Alright, I'll read the back. It says, four pods in this pack. One pod contains one milliliter. One pod is equivalent to one cigarette pack. Good to know. So I got four packets of cigarettes for about, I don't know, 15 bucks, 16, 20 dollars, something probably like 16 bucks it's not bad California proposition 65 warning this product can expose you to chemicals including nicotine which is known to the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm For more information go to www.p65warnings.ca.gov not for sale to minors keep away from children and pets ingredients vegetable glycerin propylene glycol glycerin Gly uh, gly glycerol, excuse me, glycerol flavoring, benzoic acid, and nicotine. And uh, their website is eonsmoke.com. E liquid made by Eon Smoke, a USA braced company manufactured in PRC for sale in the USA only. Warning this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. So this is Lush Ice, 6% nicotine. There you go. It's a pretty nice brand. I'd recommend them. I'll just uh, leave them up right there. If I can have this stand up somehow. I like I like the artwork on their their packages. That's pretty swanky danky. Yeah, that tastes good. It tastes pretty damn good. I recommend this to people. Lush Ice. Uh, yes, I don't know what it is. It's just uh, eonsmoke.com. Eon Smoke. I think the brand name is Eon Smoke. Eon Smoke is the brand name, and uh, the product type is Lush Ice Watermelon. Watermelon Lush Ice by Eon Smoke. Just figured that out. So, it's good stuff. Good vapor production. Good vapor production. I don't want to say smoke, but yeah, it's good vapor production. 
Uh, really smooth mellow taste. I could vape this for a while. Since this is 6% nicotine and I'm used to three, I probably don't have to vape it as much as I would normally vape anything else. But, uh, you know, I'm going to anyways because it tastes so good. Yeah, that's a fair amount of vape production. So yeah, uh, I've invested quite a lot in the Juul vape system. This specific vape pen is very handy. It's uh, got a magnetic strip at the bottom that charges with a USB port. It's just a small USB clip. And you attach this and you just plug it into anything. You can plug it into a a battery pack that has a USB, you can plug it into your computer, you can plug it into a JBL speaker that's got one of these, if it's the uh, JBL Extreme 2, probably plug this into a generator, plug it into a 60 hertz outlet, if you've got the cable set up for a USB adapter, you can plug it into whatever you got, so it's really good. Got I've bought I've bought about five of these over my course of buying all these. I have three in my possession right now. Two I lost in New York. Or one I lost in New York and one I lost in Maryland. Or two I lost in New York or something. But uh, anyways, it's really good. I use them as uh, kind of like Wi-Fi transmitters to signals for extraterrestrials and shit like that. Uh, with my Radiant Arsenal technology that I got in my house with my broadcast system. It's just a game that I play, but I've received signals anyways, so it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I like these for multiple reasons. It also, if you're wearing uh, Radionics type of watches, like a fossil Google Fit watch or something like that, that gives you Radionics experiments with small pulsed uh, electromagnetic frequencies, you can use the base of this uh, device, this Joule Vapor. There's their logo. You can use the base of it since it's got a electromagnetic frequency. You can use it as a wand to do radionics experiments with and release tension in your body and in your bloodstream just by passing it over areas of your body. You don't want to put it too close to your brain unless your intention is good enough not to fry your circuits. But if you take this and put it along, say, your, your left hand and you're wearing these kind of watches, it'll sync with those kind of devices and create a radionics uh, electromagnetic frequency. Uh, pulse system around your bloodstream and if you're doing it with your intention if you're as Pisces or if you've got that sort of pineal ether gland like you got if you got the amethyst as your birthstone you can do that sort of stuff so that's why another reason why I support these jewel vapor systems is because it's slight radionics experiment for for some people that might know about that so but all that aside, it's really just for vaping. For people that don't know about that and can't use their intention or don't have a pineal ether gland like I do. <clears throat> Anyways, it tastes damn good either way. I'm gonna buy it again. Not bad. Not bad. I can talk with it coming out of my mouth pretty well, so it's not like harsh smoke or anything. So that's real good. I give it to Snuggo Gas Station at Signal Bell Lane in Clarksville, Maryland, 21029, because they got that uh, Eon Smoke hookup for the Lush Ice watermelon. It's good stuff. And, uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put my other mint pod back in one of these little containers so it doesn't get too messed up. Just leave that right there. And, uh, yeah, everybody, take care. Please try Eon Ice or Eon Smoke by Lush Ice or Lush Ice by Eon Smoke or whatever. Just look for this. They got, like, they got, a uh, watermelon. That's the flavor that I know. Check out if they got other ones at your gas stations. It's good enough. Tastes good. On par with the Juul itself. So, if you don't want the regular menthol or mint flavor or cucumber or tobacco, you can try one of these uh, for a fruity, fruity flavor. Uh, again, I like that uh, one pod contains about the equivalent of one cigarette pack, so 
Uh, you got about four packs of cigarettes right there. <clears throat> and uh, I deduce that that's probably about right, honestly, because it's true. So, it's good. Thanks for selling the product, and I'll buy it again in the future. See you later.